Hey guys, Carl here. X-pipe or H-pipe? What's the difference? Which one is better for your application? That's what we're going to cover today. In order to understand the difference between X and H-pipes, we need to understand what exhaust scavenging is all about. Proper exhaust scavenging occurs when the exhaust pulses of the motor work with pipes of the exhaust system to fully evacuate each cylinder so that you don't have fresh incoming fuel and air mixing with leftover spent exhaust gases. As your motor expels these exhaust gases into the exhaust system, those gases exit the cylinder heads in pulses, and as each pulse of exhaust gas travels through the pipes, it creates a small area of vacuum and this vacuum is what acts to help pull the next pulse of exhaust gas behind it, and so on. This helps you to get a more complete combustion cycle. One factor that affects scavenging performance is the diameter of your exhaust pipes. You might think that putting larger diameter pipes in an exhaust system will always improve your car's performance. Well, that isn't always the case. Depending on your application, your car may be better off with smaller diameter exhaust pipes that allow the exhaust to scavenge more efficiently due to the greater velocity or speed that allows those pulses to create that vacuum that works to pull subsequent pulses out of each cylinder. So now that we know what scavenging is, we must understand that the goal of both X-pipe and the H-pipe is to equalize the motor's exhaust pulses so that the system is able to evacuate each cylinder as completely as possible. H-pipe technology has received less focus within the last few decades because it's been found that while H-pipes do a pretty good job of equalizing the pulses, they don't do much to improve scavenging. An X-pipe, on the other hand, forces the exhaust from each cylinder to converge together in the same direction, and when these pulses are working together, the exhaust from each of the cylinders draws on one another, speeds up flow, and achieves greater scavenging from each of the combustion chambers. Of course, this only occurs when the X-pipe's dimensions are properly matched to the motor that spits those exhaust gases out. From a pure horsepower standpoint, an X-pipe typically will make more horsepower than an H-pipe will. However, that does not automatically mean that an X-pipe is the right choice for your vehicle. If you have a stock motor with lower compression, you may discover that while the X-pipe makes more peak horsepower, you may have lost some of that low-end torque and performance due to a loss of velocity and scavenging vacuum that we talked about earlier. That loss can hurt your acceleration, making your 0 to 60 times slower. It doesn't mean that more power isn't being made. It may just be making that power at a different place in the power band, in this case, mainly at higher RPM. So if you have a street-driven car that you just drive around town, your low-end torque may be more important to you than power gains that don't show up until between 2,500 and 3,500 RPM. In this case, an H-pipe may be more beneficial than an X-pipe. This would also be true in the case of a tow vehicle pulling a camper or a race car to the track. A common question we get is, where is it best to place an X-pipe or an H-pipe in the exhaust system? This will largely be determined by the vehicle. You may have limited space depending on drive shaft location, ground clearance, transmission cross member design, and so on. Whenever possible, you'll want to place the H or X pipe as far upstream as you can. You'll want those gases to converge as soon as possible. It's also possible that neither one of these options will really be of any real benefit, and it may be best to just stick with your stock exhaust that probably consists of a Y pipe. These two can promote exhaust scavenging, so don't sell them short. It's also important to note that not all engines respond the same way. Once installed, it will be necessary to retune your carburetor or computer on fuel injected vehicles since an exhaust system that's scavenging properly will leave a cleaner cylinder ready to be filled with more fresh air and fuel. One more note, coated or wrapped headers and pipes keep more heat in the exhaust and promote higher exhaust gas velocity. This too can be used as an option to build more power. If you're watching this video on YouTube and have any other questions about X or H pipes, feel free to ask them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.